Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are on the Vatsim network getting ready for a little flight and we are going to demonstrate to you guys uh, the new custom flight plan manager for the A32NX by Fly by Wire in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So at the moment we are on stand 502 and if we jump straight into the flight deck uh, we've just aligned our ADRS. I'm going to go ahead and start to request our route to be uh, ported in and we can see already that Actually, this looks very different. Um, the actual displays, the nav displays, look very different. Morning, speed seven one three, gating runway two seven left. If you're enjoying today's video, make sure you hit like and especially subscribe as well down below if you've not done so already. And let us know what you think in the comments below. So that's what that looks like for the time being. We put it onto arc mode, etc. Yeah, in a second. But if we go to init A and request the route, in it goes. Oh, look at that. Looks great. Delta, stand 562. Delta and So, sim brief integration and everything like that still works. Uh, and of course, as well, we're going to be expecting the uh, umlat arrival, uh, the umlat departure, runway 27 right at Heathrow. So we can go find it. And in it is, there it goes. Look at that. Ah, question. 2570, stand 329, push and start approved. Of course this is still a work in progress. This is what's going to be released into the development branch uh, in the next few weeks. So certainly something really to look forward to for you guys. Uh, and it gets rid of those massive problems that we've had over the last uh, couple of months with the A32NX, with the flight plans wiping and all that sort of stuff. So we can go on to plan mode. Golf, and there we go, look at that. It looks really smooth as well. There's a discontinuity, so let's clear that. There we go. Look how effortless that was. You're clear to Munich, Detling 2 Foxtrot departure, Squawk 7633. Happy days. And then once we're on the way, we will get through the rest of it throughout the flight. Okay, so demonstration time. Uh, slightly different to what you're probably expecting because uh, we're actually now at Gatwick Airport and uh, we've configured for a MINFO departure, MINFO 1 mic departure. And the reason being is because after departure, uh, there's a couple of really tight turns and I want to demonstrate to you guys how good this custom flight plan manager is in relation to holding that track line really nice and tightly. So uh, we're going to depart Gatwick as a little bit of a um, show and tell if you like. And for those of you who want to check out the channel, uh, all of our live streams, whenever we're in the A320 now, we're over the next couple of weeks we're going to be demonstrating this live on the channel as well. So do check it out, make sure you, uh, you're watching it. So the QNH is 1013 at the moment with live weather. So there's our departure route. We need to configure for the takeoff. So here we go. Really exciting changes coming soon to the latest development branch of Flyby-Wire. Do note, of course, though, that everything that we're about to see might change ever so slightly by the time it's live inside. the development branch. Flex. Eighty knots, we're bringing that pressure off the nose wheel now, neutralizing the stick. B1. Check. 
Jason, the flight director, positive rate go up. And now, autopilot one on. And you can see there's a bit of a demonstration here. We are 0 0.06 nautical miles right of track for that custom flight plan that we've got input there. You can see it's chasing. It's really accurate this is, so it's now smoothed out the line for us really nicely. Lever climb. Round we go. 0 0.067890 and counting up. Ever so slightly left of track now and counting. You can see it's drifted somewhat. So it's allowing us now to go to 30 degrees angle of bank to get back on that track. And it's given us that countdown of our custom flight plan manager all the time. You guys can see this in action right here. Speed constraints are 220 knots. That's active. It will not allow us to go any faster than that. Look at this. really accurately hugging the line and you're going to see now again in the next turn just as we come slightly left or right of track it's going to pop up either side of the aircraft to tell us and if you watch the flight director as well you can see there it's making those corrections it's telling the aeroplane no bank more bank less now it is look roll out And it's responding really quickly and really accurately to this. And if you look at the flight plan now, we're on 10 nautical mile range. It is absolutely locked tight on that green line. Some stunning work by uh, fly-by-wire. So I hope you like that little demonstration. I picked that one particularly because of the really tight right turn and a couple of different constraints as well for the aeroplane to deal with. I wanted to show you guys exactly how that works on a departure as an example. Beautiful bit of work by the fly-by-wire team. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this little teaser, this little introduction to the new upcoming custom flight plan manager by fly-by-wire. As I said already uh, a couple of times now, it's a work in progress, so it is coming soon to the latest development branch. And when it does, I'm sure you guys are going to absolutely love it. No more uh, clunkiness or issues with the, with the MCDU that we've been experiencing over this last year. Uh, all that is going to be by the by. Of course, as uh, time progresses, we, were gonna, we are going to get things like holds introduced as well. So uh, bear with the team while they produce all these additional features. And as I've said already, features that I've shown today might change prior to release in the dev branch. So... Uh, have a little play, experiment when, when it does come out, give it a good go, see if you can break it and uh, make the most of it. It is a really good bit of work. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to continue now on the way off to Mykonos, a practice run for a live stream. And I hope to see you all in the live chat for a live stream in the very near future. Thanks for watching.